What's going on guys, Chase on Two Wheels, and today we've got a pretty, a new style, fun video that the guys and I in the shop are pretty excited about. A lot of you guys know we've got our Discord that we've been talking about, which is where we're trying to build a cool motorcycle community of guys that are like-minded, that just want to like, hang out and talk about motorcycle stuff. Well, we partnered up with our buddies at Revzilla to do a monthly review, but the item is picked by you guys. So we have a gear talk section over on our Discord page and one of our members decided that he was curious about the Street and Steel Oakland jeans. And what we're doing is one person who gets voted up the most that month, we're gonna give them the gear and we're gonna get the gear, we're gonna test it out and we're gonna let them tell us what they thought about it. So in today's video guys, we are gonna be going over the Street and Steel Oakland riding jeans, and we're also going to hear from our buddy Randrew, who is the one who selected to have these, and then everybody voted his thing up. So, without further ado, let's get into the stats real quick of these Oakland jeans. Alright so guys, that's all the stats on these jeans. Now I'm going to throw them on and uh, we'll go for a little ride and I'll tell you guys what I thought about them after riding with them because bro, once we got these, I've been riding in them ever since. I wear them almost every single day. If you guys notice, there was one first ride where you see me wearing them, I've been wearing them ever since that one. So uh, let's jump on the bike and let's talk about how I have experienced these jeans over the last month or so. Alright guys, so we're here with the Oakland jeans. You guys, hopefully the 360 camera, if we don't kill that one in today's recording. Hopefully you guys can see them. Uh, I love the way they look. I currently have the black ones on right now. I love the way black jeans look with black gear. Let's get on the bike. Let me talk through what I feel about the jeans. By the way, guys, guess what? I got great news. If you guys watched a few, uh, I don't know when the video came out, but we put a video out about me riding in the rain and my audio recorder died right well guess what you're listening to me with the same audio recorder it lives such good news we didn't kill it just needed to dry out but we did kill a 360 camera the other day and hopefully this one doesn't die all right guys so uh the street and steel oakland jeans let's talk about these things uh so guys i've had a good amount of jeans uh you know riding jeans and i feel like it's the one piece of gear that most people don't ever talk about but man the second you guys go down and you realize how much sliding you do while on your you know whatever the leg covering you have on is you realize how important these things are and for a hundred and thirty dollars i gotta be honest guys i'm shocked at how nice these jeans are I love the way they feel so much that even if I drive my car into work, you know, to the shop or whatever, and even if I don't plan on riding that day, I will legitimately wear these things just because they're that comfortable. You know what? I'm pulling an audible. I've never gone to the right here. We're going this way because this road's stupid. No outlet. Perfect. All right. Well, this is going to be utterly pointless. Um, so, guys, as I navigate this no outlet road... Let's just see what goes down here. These jeans are legit so comfortable that I wear them even if I know I'm not gonna ride. I, I wanna ramp that so bad, why? Why is that going through my head right now? And uh, one of the main reasons behind that is guys, I've got a few pairs of riding jeans that are just like regular denim with like Kevlar in them. And those are fine, but when you're riding a motorcycle and you're getting on and off the bike, like the position I'm in right now, you guys know I'm on the R7 uh, that we have from Yamaha. Look how bent my legs are. This is not a normal position for walking around. And what I notice is riding jeans, other riding jeans that I've had that don't stretch as much as these, they're either comfortable sitting on the motorcycle or they're comfortable standing. They're never both. So the thing I love about these jeans is like I can use them for multi multiple purposes. It doesn't just have to be one, and uh, that's pretty awesome. Like I told you guys in the beginning, they do have armor in the knees. Uh, the armor is very flexible. You honestly don't even know it's there until you actually are out walking around or wearing them. Uh, you have to honestly feel for the armor. It's very light. It's not intrusive. It doesn't get in your way. But it is CE level armor, so you're going to be protected or your knees are going to be protected. 
if you happen to take a slide on it. Uh, if you look at this little graph that Revzilla has on their site, you can see where all like the reinforcement is on these things. And uh, as you can probably tell, it covers all of the like, I don't know what you call it, like the high slide areas. Oh, are we gonna get a green light right here? Well, we're, we didn't get a green light, but we're going anyway. So yeah, riding in something like these is gonna be far more safe than something like uh, like a regular pair of jeans. Even though I see a lot of guys just wearing jeans. I'd rather you wear jeans than uh, like shorts or something like that. Uh, so another thing I like about these jeans, guys, is the button, the snaps, the zips, like everything feels really nice. It feels like a super premium product. It does not feel at all like a $130 pair of jeans. I'm, I'm pretty sure $130, some people buy regular jeans for that price. So here you can get really nice feeling jeans and I love the way these feel, honestly. So yeah, guys, the fit on these jeans is super nice. The stretchiness, it doesn't stretch a ton, but these things I feel like they stretch just enough to cover it when I'm getting on and off the bike. Uh, I feel like they look really good. I'm not a fan of the blue jeans, but I love the black color, which is why I got the black color. Uh, I don't know what color Andrew got, but uh, we'll talk with him in a second after, uh, after this. So the button is nice. The zips is nice. The, uh, the pockets, here's the cool thing. With that stretch, I can actually get, if I'm going to like a gas station, I've realized that if I'm wearing these jeans, I can actually get my wallet out of my pocket with my riding gloves on. So I don't have to take my riding gloves off, which is super nice when I'm at a gas station. I just want to grab gas real quick. I just feel like these things are really well made for motorcyclists. Another thing about the cut is I feel like they fit really good uh, above my knee. And then below my knee, they do a really good job of going around any sort of boots. So I've got like three main types of riding shoes that I wear. I've got my waterproof boots. I've got my, uh, the, the boots I have on now, which are like a half boot. Uh, and then I have these kind of like riding shoes type thing, these XTC or something like that. I have noticed that these pants fit really good over all of those. So whatever the cut is, I'm not familiar with cuts of uh, pants, but as you guys can see with these, they go over these boots really nicely. And it fits all tight. I don't like baggy clothing when I ride. Uh, I don't like baggy anything when I ride. I, I don't like it kind of like fluttering in the wind. So uh, something I have to have with jeans is like it needs to fit correctly over my gear that I'm going to be wearing while I ride. And these things have done a phenomenal job, as you guys can literally see right now. Everything uh, I'm wearing riding gear and everything fits over pretty tightly. So yeah guys, after about a month of riding in these things, I can say they are my go-to pair of riding jeans now. Which is funny because I didn't even, what the hell is that? I don't know what bird that is. Is that a turkey? Is that a f***ing turkey? What? Okay, wow, mine wiped. Um, so yeah guys, I don't know a lot of terminology about jeans, but all I can tell you is I've been riding in these things straight for a month now. And if I'm going to be honest, they're my go-to riding jeans right now. I pick them over every other pair of riding jeans I have. And that's just because of how comfortable they are. So I can have all the comfort that I want while I ride. But I also get that added protection of that, you know, abrasion resistance, that slide resistance. It, to me, it's the best of both worlds. I got comfortable pants that I can wear while I ride and feel confident that I'm wearing something safe. I love the hell out of these things. And if you guys think I don't, all you got to do is watch the first rides that I do. If I wear it on first rides, it's because I enjoy wearing it. And I wear these on every single one of them. So guys, this video is not all about me because obviously what we're wanting to do with these like quick little gear reviews is to review the stuff you guys are looking at and make it a community driven thing. So. Before we get out of here, I want to uh, show a little video that we got Randrew to, uh, which is the guy that suggested these jeans originally. We got him to, uh, we got him to send us a video of what he thought about his jeans after he rode in them for a little while. So let's cut over to uh, Randrew's video real quick and see what he thinks about them. Shout out to Randrew over on our Discord page. Hey guys, this is Randrew from the Chase on Two Wheels Discord, and I won the uh, Oakland Street and Steel riding jeans. 
I got them and I've been riding them for a little bit. And so I've got a number of things that I want to go over that are good and bad. The first bad thing I wanted to go over about the jeans is these knee pads. They're pretty nice knee pads, but they seem really clunky when you're at work or walking around to have these in front of you. Also, when you're riding, they tend to block airflow and make your knees all sweaty, especially on warmer days. The first good point I wanted to touch off was how comfy these jeans are. The Kevlar liner feels kind of like a fleece lined jean and they fit kind of snug but the denim itself is a little stretchy so it kind of hugs you and it doesn't like to move around a lot now that's only present or the kevlar is in, is gone which there's quite a bit of kevlar on this jean i was really impressed by the comfiness and i wore these all day at work with no problems the second positive i wanted to touch on was the quality looking through different parts of the jeans uh, the stitching seems to be great and it seems to be folded in and stitched which is the proper way there's little loops everywhere to even include another little button in case this one goes out that's a standard jean button the traditional quality it, it seems like a normal set of jeans just a little bit beefed up i really enjoyed it it felt like an 128 pair dollar pair of jeans uh, which isn't a bad thing because that's how it should feel rather expensive the third high point i want to talk on is the kevlar there's a lot of kevlar in this jean it goes from all the way to your waist down to below where the knee pads are you can see it's stitched in there pretty good into the seams so you'll have your knee pad here and that's where your kevlar stops only a little bit of your shin and ankle is exposed and the rest of this is all Kevlar in the front but it only goes down to here in the back my second negative I wanted to go over was the fact that the Kevlar stops here means that uh, when you're riding from here to here which is about your ankle and the lower part of your shin it uh, feels a lot colder and it feels like your pant is constantly riding up your ankle if you have high boots you probably won't have as much of an issue but if you're wearing tennis shoes uh, you'll constantly feel like the cuff of your jean is picked up even when it isn't and it feels like that when you're walking around throughout the day too the third thing I wanted to bring up is these pants are warm you're very warm this Kevlar blocks a lot of airflow when you're riding in the morning or when it's cooler out it isn't much of a problem but when it's 92 degrees you get a little bit of breeze flowing through here and then the rest of it uh, not so much now the Kevlar does breathe but it doesn't breathe a whole lot so you're still feeling that heat constantly all right so guys as you guys could see uh rancher thank you so much for your opinions and thanks a lot for recommending these i would have had no clue these things were as nice as they were had he not recommended them uh, so guys, if you are wanting to join our Discord, we tell you guys all the time, it is totally free. We do not charge for it. Uh, we're trying to build an awesome motorcycle community over there. And currently, our plan is to, once a month, we're going to do these little gear reviews that you guys recommend. And if we choose your item, and it's not even us choosing, it's the community. When you people are over on our gear page on Discord, they're going to vote up the pieces of gear that other people recommend that they would like to see a review on. And if we pick the piece of gear that you recommended, not only are we going to get a pair to review, but you're going to get a pair so you can check them out as well and uh, help us build this gear review community, you know? We try to make our content based on stuff we think you guys want and need. And we think this is a really cool way of us getting to review stuff, but you guys get to review stuff as well. So you guys click that top link down below. We'll have a link to Discord down in the description. You guys can go over there, go to our gear review page, and suggest some gear that you're looking at. And if it gets voted up enough, then you might just be getting some free gear. If you guys want to check out the jeans we talked about in this video, we will have a link for you down in the description. It'll take you over to RevZilla. If you guys purchase from that link, it is an affiliate link. We will get a couple dollars off of it, and we appreciate any of you guys that do that. 
But anyways, guys, I'm Chase on Two Wheels. Final shout out to Randrew for uh, suggesting such a cool pair of jeans. I love that these things weren't even on my radar, and now they're like my favorite jeans. So uh, that's pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more motorcycle content. Me and the team make a ton of it here on the Chase on Two Wheels YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you guys over on the Discord page. Later. Outro crew, what's up? If you are in the outro crew, all that means is you made it to the end of the video and watch the whole dang thing. It makes me love you longer. Now here's the thing, Outro Crew, I'm very curious because I don't think a lot of people, a lot of riders care. Do you guys ride in riding jeans or do you just ride in regular jeans? I'm going to admit maybe 10% of the time I'll ride in regular jeans if I'm like washing mine or something like that. But 90% of the time I'm in riding jeans. And if you can grab them for as little as 130 bucks. There's really no excuse not to, man. Let me know what you guys write in in the comments down below. Do you care about riding jeans or you're just like, ah, jeans are jeans. By the way, they're not, but we'll make a whole video on that. Let's not hit some traffic and uh, let's get back to the shop. Outro crew, thanks for getting to the end of the video. Make sure to put OC in your comments so we can confuse the hell out of everybody in the comment section. And we'll see you all in the next one. Later.